Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh... Shoot, you know, I had this big speech in my head and everything, and it's just gone now. Uh, I might sound a little different, still getting over about a COVID, but... With how I managed to stay on top of Toho and everything, well, using, or, you know, finger quotes there, I'm being optimistic, I want to keep that momentum going. And I thought about something. A while back, my nephew found out about the uh, Terminal Montage Something About Ocarina of Time series, mainly because I sent it to my older sister, and he wanted to play Ocarina of Time because of that. And he got a little confused when he uh, tried to play it for the first time. So I figured, you know what would be nice? And maybe a weird bonding experience for me? That sounds weird. Uh, God, where am I going with this? Hold on. Right, I stumbled over my words so much that we looped back around. Anyhow. I want to show that the game is beatable. Sometimes you just gotta look at things a little different, you know? I swear, despite what the title says, this is not me trying to flex on a ten-year-old, like, haha, look at this thing I can do. Nah. You know what, everybody's got different skills, and that's okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already got a file that I cleared, and as you can see, I didn't 100% it, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and erase that. Godspeed, Lunk. Long live the king. Anyhow, I've only ever 100%ed this game once, and I figure I can't guarantee that it'll happen this time. I do have my notes right next to me for when I was trying to 100% it. Let me just... That is not the right notebook. Okay, I'll find that later. It's, a, it's fine. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, huh? Now, I thought about it, and I want to have a bit of fun with this. Normally, I just go with Link for the name. But we're gonna... We're gonna have... A little fun here. Everybody is going to refer to Link as my dude. In the vast, deep forests of Hyrule. Forests, singular. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. I'm going to be going with the Japanese uh, pronunciation for a lot of these. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. I know he's having a nightmare, but for the longest time as a kid, I thought that he was cold. So I'm like, well, no wonder you don't have sheets. You are just laying on a log. I know this might sound a little mean, but his ears are so big when he turns his head to the side like that. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long the Kokiri forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. I swear, it's like I'm trying to do a bit of Tony J, but also trying to do my own thing, and it's just, it's a blending together. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. You're a tree! It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the world. 
sorry, I got ahead of myself. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon me. I don't know how to feel about a tree having magic powers. That just... That seems like a recipe for disaster. Hello. You know, call me crazy. And so it begins. Hello. Hello, my dude. Wake up. The great Deku tree wants to talk to you. My dude, get up. Hey. hey, come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? I always found this funny when I was a kid. You finally woke up! I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you! The Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. So, while we're wandering around, this'll be handy later. Uh, let's see, what was there? Is this, is this a bathroom vanity? It is! I never thought about that before. Cool! I'm gonna be mixing a few speedrun tricks into this, just because, like, I like doing them. And I can't guarantee that they'll be easy to pull off or I'll do it all the time, but I do want to blend it in a little bit. <laughs> Yahoo! Hi, my dude! I don't know why I made her turn into the toad. So, we could take the ladder, but that's slow. We want to go fast. So we just backflip down, like a pro. My dude, <laughs> this is already giving us so many happy returns. Hey, friend. Wow, a fairy. Finally, a fairy came to you, my dude. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri, my dude. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going, go see the Great Deku Tree. But where is the Great Deku Tree? How do I have the map? Oh, it's the L button. I should also point out I'm using a uh, Retrobit N64 controller. Uh, Editron, you want to pop that on screen? It's, uh, yes. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please come with me. Anyway, it's a bit more ergonomic than the classic N64 controller, in that it's actually made for people with two hands. And the control stick is more like a GameCube controller's, so it's, uh, it's workable. Hey friend, I don't know if your name is actually Pokey, but I was watching a short on YouTube that uh, called you that. Oh my god, there is the seam. Okay. Alternate Universe my dude will be handling that later. Oh, a fairy finally came to you! Now you have a lot to learn. The best place to go to learn some new skills is in the Forest Training Center. It's on the hill just above you. Oh, Alright, I'll do that. But first, we gotta figure out what's going on here. You know, you gotta lift with your legs, man. Looks like you tried to lift with your back. Hey, by the stone, pick it up! Hey, by the stone, pick it up! Mean old Nito, he made me pick up the rocks in front of his house. And then Nito sounds like he's, uh, got a bad cast, bad cast, bad case of the Mondays. Oh, you have a fairy now? That's great, my dude! What? You've been called by the great Deku Tree? What an honor! He may give you a special gift, tee hee! That's because the Great Deku Tree is our father, the Forest Guardian, and he gave life to all of us Kokiri. Anyway, what I was saying earlier was, I may be going with the Japanese pronunciation for some things, 
So, I grew up hearing Deku Tree, and yeah, that's technically close, but in Japanese the character is De, so it's like Deku, so I say Deku. You're not allowed to leave the forest. The great Deku Tree said that if a Kokiri leaves the woods, he or she will die. So, what is your endgame here? What are you planning to do? Like, are you gonna jump me if I try and go past you? I see. Alright, fair enough. Well, he won't let me pass, but that's okay. Why don't we go over and... Gee, I wonder where the great Deku Tree is. That meanie Mito made me cut the grass at Saria's house. Mito told Saria he would do it so she would like him. But I'm the one doing all the work. You and Saria are close friends, so will you help me cut the grass? I'll let you keep anything that you find while cutting it. Yeah, alright. Whose house is this? House of Twins. That sounds like a Netflix show. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I... can I do this? Hey you! Mr. No Fairy! What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. Dude, you're my height! What? You got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mito? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You weren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and shield ready? What? You're right, I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh. This is why everybody calls you a meanie, Mito. Although I will admit, somehow you're, work you're rocking the sleeveless look. Maybe sorry I can help us. What? Mino won't let you go to see the great Deku tree? Oh, that bum. I don't know why he's always so mean to everyone. What he said is true, though. The forest. Strange things have been happening here lately. You need to be ready for anything. You better find a weapon. You can buy a shield at the shop, but there's only one sword hidden somewhere in the forest. Real quick, though. I love this. Little guy, what looks like Godzilla or a T-Rex. Is that the sun or a fairy? I don't know. I just like to think it's a knight trying to take on Godzilla before realizing the folly of his ways. So we can go buy a... shield. Oh yeah, I'm going to be talking to a lot of people throughout this just because I don't normally, and I miss out on a lot of flavor text that way. My sister took some rupees and went shopping at the store. That has a red roof, teehee. Speaking of rupees, a green one is worth one, a blue one is worth five, and a red one is worth twenty. Hehe. <laughs> yeah, that's actually been a pretty consistent Zelda rule since... Well, A Link to the Past, really. So the one just before this. There, I took your six rupees. Ha <laughs> ha! They're mine now. I didn't know that was there. I never do that. Cool. I'm already learning new things. We can't get up there yet, but there is this. You see a small mound of soft soil here. Remember that. It'll come up later. I cannot wait to hear how I sound in post. Hi, my dude, look this way. Look over here with Z and talk to me with A. Yes, yes, that's how you use a fairy. It's so great that you finally have a fairy partner. I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. When a fairy flies near a person or thing, press Z to look in that direction. If you use Z targeting, you 
can talk to people from a distance, like we're doing now. When you have nothing that you can target, you can press Z just to look forward. Try it! Okay, uh, full disclosure, what I was doing there was mashing Z. Because, uh, that's how Link runs. But if you, uh, he'll start stutter stepping. And the only reason I know this is because Big Sister did this in front of me once when I was a kid. I don't know, I think it's kind of great. I don't even know if it's actually called stutter stepping, that's just all, all yeah, Words are hard. That's what I've always called it. Because it, it looks like he's, uh, well, yeah, you, you get it. Maybe not. I'm gonna stop before I make somebody sick. Alright. So, we can help that dude out in front of Saria's house if we find a sword. And I know where it is. We're gonna stick to the main area for now, because up there leads to a place that we can't do anything yet. So, let's go check Saria's house. It's full of hearts. Actually, it's a pretty cozy-looking place, too. Simple, but effective. Alright, there's another Kokiri up here. I almost said fairy, but I'm like, no, no, not a fairy. Maybe forest children? Where am I going with this? Never mind. Hello, friend. Hee hee hee. You came all the way up here? You're a real man. Look, isn't this view pretty? Change your viewpoint with up, see, or up C so you can look around the forest with the stick. You know, for the longest time I thought you were Saria. Because I wasn't really paying that much attention as a kid. So, when I saw my brother go to Lost Woods and Saria was there, I'm like, what happened? Why'd her hair change? It's whatever. Alright then. Can't do anything with the grass, because let's, let's just, uh, let's go try real quick. Yeah, my dude here is not having a good time with it. Fortunately, sometimes rocks will have things inside of them, so picking stones up is a good way to make money. It's not a lot, but a little bit adds up over time. Every coin's a step toward a dollar. Do, 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 do. Dare I get the... I did not. Okay. So that's there. Right, we never went to the shop. Derp. Stepping stones in the pond. If you boldly go in the direction you want to jump, you will leap automatically. If you hop around on the stones, you'll become happier. Oops. It's okay. We already got the rupees. I almost thought we didn't talk to her for a second. This shop. It sells things you can get in the forest for free. Teehee. Do you know how to use the Deku Shield? Teehee. When you get the shield, press Start to get into the subscreens. Select the Equipment subscreen with Z or R. On the Equipment subscreen, choose the item you want to equip and press A to equip that item. Once you equip it, hold it up with R and change its angle with the stick. Teehee. Welcome. We sell shields, but not swords. So these are Deku Seeds, we'll need a slingshot to use them. Arrows, we'll need a bow, kind of self-explanatory there. Deku Nuts, we, uh, we'll pick them up. Deku Sticks, we'll get them. What we're really after is the shield. We need seven more rupees. I'll be back, boss. It's been 20 minutes, and I have done nothing. I have wandered around and stolen stuff from a lot of people's homes. So, standard adventure fare with me. And that's it. I've also talked to a lot of people. Anything at all. I picked up all these stones for nothing. Whose house is this, anyway? House of the Great Mito, boss of the Kokiri. Oh ho ho, we're gonna have some fun.
Where is his bed? As if I needed to ask. Alright, he's got money. I'll take that. We have nothing to lose but our chains, after all. We are the workers of the world. He dedicated an entire treasure chest to a green rupee. Mito, this is... <sighs> whatever. Look at this, the man even has a podium in here! Like, why? What is the point of this? Is this like an audience chamber? Does he just ha like have Kokiri line up and be like, If it pleases your grace. I... Mito, you are a mystery. House of the Know-It-All Brothers. I can teach you about the icons at the top of the screen. Tell me about the yellow ones. The three yellow icons in the upper right are called C icons. They display the things you can use with the C buttons. Left, down, and right. Once you get a C button item, go into the Select Item subscreen and set it to one of the three C buttons. Alright. The blue icon at the top of the screen is called the Action icon. This action icon shows you what action you will perform when you press A. Stop in many spots to see the different things you can do. Okay. I knew there were three of you. You want to know how to use the up C button? Yeah. If you press up C, you can change your view. In a place like this, it will switch to a top-down view. Outdoors, in a field for example, it will switch to a first-person perspective. Also, when Navi is displayed in the upper right of your screen, Navi the fairy wants to talk to you. Use up C to listen to her. Okay, saying that it switches to a first-person perspective makes me think it'll go into Doom or something. That would be amazing. If you want to learn about the map and items, just ask me. But don't ask unless you want to hear a long explanation. What do you want to know about? Eh... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go into that later. Maybe. It's, it's kind of self-explanatory. He says long explanation, and I'm just sitting there like, My throat is not equipped for this right now. Maybe Alternate Universe, uh, my dude, will come in here later to do that. Alright, so this is the only place we haven't been yet. This should be the Forest Training Center. Don't recklessly cut signs, read them carefully. Thrust attack signs! To thrust, your, uh, to thrust with your sword, press the stick toward your target while Z-targeting them, press B. Cut grass with your sword. If you just swing with B, you'll cut horizontally. If you hold Z as you swing, you'll cut vertically. Switch targeting. If you see a green arrow icon above an object, you can target it with Z. In other words, if you press C, when you see the down arrow or the green arrow above an object, you can lock onto it. If you press Z again, the lock will either release or it will transfer the next object with the arrow above it. When you have many enemies in your field of view and you want to escape, press Z while holding back on the stick to cancel targeting. You can target the stones next to this sign for practice. For the longest time, I thought that there was some kind of secret associated with these stones. Now I'm pretty sure that they're just for uh, doing that. Can I pick them up? Nope. So, unless some speedrunner figures something out, uh, hard to say. Hey, let's work on some moves. To jump sideways while Z-targeting, press A as you move right or left. To do a backflip while Z-targeting, press A as you move backwards. To do a roll attack while Z-targeting, press A as you move forward. While you roll, you can avoid damage. If you have your sword ready while Z-targeting, you can do a jump attack by pressing A. A jump attack does double damage. You can use Z-targeting on the stone next to me. So let's practice! Eh, we don't really need to, you guys saw me do that earlier. Styled on sorry by just flipping off my own balcony like sup. Viewpoint with Z targeting. When you have no object to look at, you, look at, <laughs> to look at you, you can just look forward with Z. Stop moving and then change the direction you are facing, or hold down Z for a little while. This can help you get oriented in the direction you want to face. It's quite convenient. 
If you hold down Z, you can walk sideways while facing straight ahead. Walking sideways can be a very important technique in dungeon corridors. Try around, or turn around, turn around and try doing this right now. Yeah, we can sidestep. Like the best of them. So these bushes you'll never be able to pick up. These that will actually regrow. And we just let it pass by again. Ah, it takes me back. Visit the house of the Know-It-All Brothers to get answers to all your item-related questions. You got the Kokiri Sword! On the Equipment subscreen, select it with the cursor and equip it with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Fortunately, we have a prime target right in front of us. You ever feel like Bilbo Baggins using Sting as a full-size sword? So, you remember what I said about cutting signs recklessly? Well, there we go. I made the Know-It-All Brothers sign a flag post. I'm gonna come back around here to cut this one. I know the one behind the uh, treasure chest grew back while we were uh, while I was talking about the sign cutting, but ta-da! I don't know that it'll always have an item after it does that, but it's okay. Yeah, you get back here. I'm gonna poke you. Yeah, think about it. There. The sign is cut. Unfortunately, once you cut a sign, you can't read it anymore. Set the, uh... <laughs> that was something that Death's Door did that I really enjoyed. The devs actually took the time to have a sign that you could read, and if you cut it in half, the lower half of the text box where the sign was still attached would show up, but not the rest of it. That's brilliant. I understand why it takes a while to do that, though. <laughs> Talking is also kind of hard right now, because I keep biting my tongue in my sleep. And, uh, yeah. Just, uh... Not fun. So, there will eventually be a trick we can do with the sword. But, uh... I'll, I'll get to that when we get there. Might actually be soon, because uh, we need a shield for it. But, we'll see what happens. Let's go buy us a shield. Welcome! You got a Deku shield! Switch to the equipment subscreen, select the shield. Press A to equip it. Press R to crouch and defend. If you press R while Z targeting, you can move while defending. Would you like to buy something else? Nope. Now, the item description for the shield did say that if it's set on fire, it'll burn, but we're not going to have to worry about that for a little while. Let's go back and see Sario real quick. Hey, check me out. I'm... I was about to say stacked. You can buy a shield? Okay. Hey, so it turns out the recording froze up a little bit after this point, so I'm just going to pick up from there, and uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't remember what else I was going to say on the matter. Oh yeah, it's been a couple days, that was it. God, I'm good at this. Hi, Mito. If you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Eh, what's that? Oh. You have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the Great Mito, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. <laughs> Navi, we're trying. I, the Great Mito, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku Tree, huh? 
<sighs> Mito, you have so much to learn about the world. That's fine. I was gonna say, it's like, they were supposed to show up by now. Nah, that's fine. We got ourselves some sweet Deku sticks, good stuff. I just skipped a bunch of text, it's okay. All it's doing is telling you that you can go to the select item subscreen and then just set it to one of the C buttons. That's fine. These are handy. We'll go into that later. Great Deku Tree! I'm back! It's only been half an hour. Or more. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. My dude, welcome. Two days later is still funny. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. My dude, the time has come to test thy courage. It is so hard to keep a straight face. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? So you can say yes and it'll just move forward, but if you say no... Perhaps you do not yet have confidence in your abilities. Return to the Kokiri Forest to learn the skills of combat. When thou art ready, return here and speak with me by using Z. So yeah, he just tells you to get out. It's kind of great. Now, I noticed there was something over here. Not this. This is... this is fine. I'll, just, I'll take a stick, whatever. But I think if we can get over... I don't think we're going to be able to do this right now. You might have seen that little gray blob, but uh, we'll address that later. Maybe there's another way around. I've never actually tried to get back there. So whatever, we just have to walk up to the Deku Tree and target him. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Yeah, all right. Then enter, brave my dude. And thou do not be. <laughs> not be the fair. Thou must aid my dude. And my dude, when Navi speaks, use up C to listen well to her words of wisdom. So, is this his mouth? I honestly don't know. Or is this just like a door that he has open in him? Because if it's his mouth, he just. Aah! Whatever, let's get to it. I would hate to see the squirrel that lives here. It's just, it's so big. Anyway, uh, that's where the recording left off. So, I'll see you back in the main video. Or at least it would if we hadn't reached the end of the video. Hey guys! So, my plan is to put a neat trick or tidbit at the end of these videos so that we can all learn something. This time around there isn't too much to say, so let's learn about Japanese instead. Japanese actually has three main writing systems, hiragana, katakana, and kanji. These can get mixed together, and that's well beyond me, so we're gonna focus on hiragana specifically. This is a chart of the characters used in hiragana from Wikipedia that includes stroke order. You can even use this to spell out hiragana if you want. Neat, huh? Anyway, I mentioned that I'm going to stick with the Japanese pronunciations. That's mainly for characters whose names don't have pronunciations in games like Smash. So for now, that applies to Saria, Mido, and the Deku Tree. Here's how you write them out in Hiragana. Saria is pretty straightforward. You put together the characters for Sa, Ri, and A. Mido gets a little more complicated. We take the characters for Mi and To, but that gives us Mito. That's not quite right, so what do we do? Well, Hiragana uses a special kind of mark for this called a Dakuten. I didn't know what it was called until I found this chart from a site called Dr. Moku. This little guy changes how a character is said, so To becomes To. We can use that for Deku as well. 
Obviously, Japanese is way more complicated than that. I only have a semester of college and some practice through Duolingo under my belt, but it's something. I just think the language is neat. Maybe you do too. So yeah, that's your little Japanese lesson done. Now let's talk about that blue rupee that amazed me earlier. While I was doing some other work for the next video, I tried getting the rupee again, but it didn't show up. I wasn't sure if it was a glitch, or I could only grab it before I got the sword and shield. And since Alternate Universe my dude already had them, I brought in another guy to help us. His name is Oog. So I tried again. Nothing. Then I retraced my steps and went into the twins' house and smashed their pots. I went back outside and did the jump again, and it worked. I repeated this to make sure it wasn't a one-time rupee, and it worked again. Then I got an idea. What if it's just going in or out of the building that makes it appear? So I went back in, and then just stepped right back out, and it worked. Then I got another idea. Oog started going in and out of every building in the forest and making that jump to check. It worked every time except for one. Oog's house. Everyone else's house makes this blue ruby appear. Now that I knew that, I switched back to Alternate Universe, my dude, to check if it had anything to do with the sword and shield. I was thrilled to find out that the answer is no. As long as you enter and leave most buildings, that rupee comes back. Which meant that Oog had served his purpose, and he can enjoy a vacation in the gap between dimensions. Other small things of note, I want to talk a little bit more about my setup. I'm playing version 1.0. That may not mean a lot right now, but I'll get into it later. You might notice a few differences if you decide to play along, that's normal. Beyond that, I'm playing on an N64 with the controller I mentioned earlier, and I'm using an Eon Super 64 to convert the video feed to HD for capture. It's a pretty neat little device that just plugs into the back of your N64, and that's it. Just hook up an HDMI cable, make sure your cartridge is clean and lined up, and you're good to go! Doesn't always play nice with Elgato's capture software, though. Anyway, that's all for now. Later, guys!